creating a data-driven learning design plan for your classroom. To apply data-driven learning design in your practice, it is important to create a plan that outlines your goals, data collection method, analysis techniques, and strategies for using data to inform your teaching and learning practices. Here are some steps to consider when creating a data-driven learning design plan for your classroom. 1. Determine your learning goals. Start by identifying your learning goals and objectives. What do you want your students to learn and how will you know if they have achieved it? Be specific and measurable in defining and learning goals as this will help you collect meaningful data. 2. Identify data collection method. Determine the type of data you will collect to measure students' learning outcomes. This may include traditional assessments, classroom observations, student self-assessments, and more. Identify the frequency and timeline for collecting this data and establish a system for organizing and sorting data. 3. Analyze the data. Use data analysis techniques to identify patterns and trends in student learning outcomes. This may include descriptive statistics, graphical representations, or other data analysis methods. Use this information to identify areas where students are excelling and areas where they would need additional support. 4. Use data to inform teaching and learning practices. Use the data you have collected and analyzed to inform your teaching and learning practices. This may include adapting learning activities and assessments, providing targeted support to students who are struggling, or introducing new instructional strategies based on students' needs. 5. Monitor progress. Regularly monitor students' progress is determined if your data-driven learning design plan is effective. Use student performance data to adjust your teaching and learning practices as needed to ensure that they are meeting your learning goals. 6. Reflect and refine. Regularly reflect on your data-driven learning design plans to identify areas for refinement. Consider soliciting feedbacks from students, colleagues, and other stakeholders to ensure that your approach is effective and impactful.